Today, let's talk about how we can solve this inequality. And this inequality is actually from the A-level exam. An A-level exam is actually from the UK for high school students. I will have the link in the description so you can check out the whole test. This is actually the first question. Let's have a look. x times x minus 1 is greater than x minus 1 over x. I will tell you what not to do first. Do not just cancel out the x minus 1 on both sides. Also, do not multiply the x on both sides. Because if you do any of that, you might end up with missing some critical values. So what we are going to do is make one side equal to 0 and then investigate the other side. So let me put this to the other side. We have x times x minus 1 minus x minus 1 over x. That's greater than 0. Now let's go ahead and get a common denominator. I need to multiply the x here and here. So that's x squared times x minus 1. And then we're subtracting this, right? So it's technically a parenthesis around that. So we are subtracting parenthesis x minus 1 all over x. And that is greater than 0. Here, do not distribute and combine like terms. No, because this right here is actually ready for us to factor. x minus 1, x minus 1. Factor that, and then we will have x squared minus technically there's a 1, and then all over x. That is greater than 0. Can we factor more? Yes. Here, x squared minus 1, use the difference of 2 squares, we get x minus 1 times x plus 1. So in fact, this right here becomes this and that, which is x minus 1 squared times x plus 1 over x. That is greater than 0. Now, from here, let's find the values that we care or the critical values, but I like to say these are the numbers that we care. Firstly though, think about how you can make this factor, this factor, and that factor equal to zero. So from here, we care about one. From here, we care about negative one. And from here, we care about zero. You also have to consider this uh, being zero as well. Now the best way to do this is actually draw a number line and test out the interval. This is the safest way. So a number line. The smallest number here that we care is negative 1. Next is 0. And then next is 1. Now let's go ahead and plug in a value on this interval. So a number less than negative 1. Let's say mm, negative 2. Put negative 2 in here, here, and here. And you just have to find out if the result is positive or not. So I will show you guys the work. Negative 2 in here, we get negative 2. Actually, let's just do this in our head. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. But square that, the first term will be positive times negative 2 here plus 1 is negative and divided by negative. So that's negative divided by negative. Here we end up with positive. And then you continue to do the rest. This right here, let's pick negative 1 half. Plug in here. In fact, this is always positive, right? So positive times. Put negative 1 half in here. Negative 1 half plus 1 is positive. And then we put negative 1 half in here. That's negative. So altogether, we get negative here. But be careful, though. The signs are not going to alternate. Just be careful. Pick a number between here and here. Let's say 1 half. Put it here, positive. Put it here, positive. Put it here, positive. All together, it's positive. Lastly, let's say pick 2. Put it here, again, positive. Put it here, positive. And then on the bottom, also positive. So as you can see, we have positive, negative, positive, and then positive. And be careful. These are the numbers that we care, but we are not going to include them because it's only a greater than symbol. Also for the zero here, 
we do not include the zero because you are dividing by zero, so no. So open circle, open circle, open circle. Now we can just answer the question. We want this interval, this interval, and that interval. The direction says we want to write the answer in set builder notation. I don't usually do that, but I will do it for following the direction. So I will say for this interval it is the set of x such that x is less than negative 1. Right. This is just a test value. This is the number we care. Anything less than negative 1. And then union the other interval, which is from 0 to 1, all the x values such that x is in between of 0 and 1. And lastly, union all the x values such that x is greater than 1. All right, so this right here is the answer. So you might think that this test is just algebra and all that easy, right? No, let's take a look at number 2.